Hi, it's Matt Gard here from UK Lock Sports. I just got this really, really cheap lock. Um, it came in my box of blocks. I got about a month or two ago now. I'm just getting around to picking it. Um, you can see the bad workmanship on it. There's even a little dimple just there. If I'm going to pick over it, you'll probably hear it. And that's supposed to be water drainage, I believe. Anyway, I'm just going to put this in and... Oh, sorry. You can just see here, if I get it to focus, you can see just slightly where the pins are in the lock. One there, another one there, another one there, another one there. So it tells me it's a four pin lock. Uh, basically, just going to have a go SPP in this for you now. And it is locked. It is uh, shimmable and, it, and you can use a knife tool on it, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to pick my thickest pry bar, which is the 1.2, which may actually be just too thick, no. As you can see the core's flopping about in there, it's not the best core. I'm just going to have got SPP in this for you. There we are, that was actually, oh that's got spring on it for counter rotation. But that was actually too quick. I actually believe there may only be one or two pins in there. Three pins there is. Anyway, if you see a lock that looks like this and it has five uh, pin, five dimples on the key for pins, it is actually only three. I imagine they would have sold it as a four or five and if you look down here down over there you can see it's got the lever in here which means it is shimmable the lever is in there it's quite hard to see with this lighting anyway please avoid this lock don't lock anything up with it uh, yeah stay safe stay legal and if you haven't already subscribed please subscribe and leave any feedback and comment it's good or bad, I want to hear it all. And if you've got another way of getting into this apart from bolt cutters, please let me know. Thank you. Bye.